Welcome to the Microsoft Translator Hub. In this video, you'll learn how to deploy a translation system and solicit feedback from the community. After a set of trainings has been conducted, go to the Project Details page and select a training with a good blue score. The blue score is a metric that you can use to compare different training runs and decide on which data and settings produce a better result. You may want to consult with project reviewers before deciding that the quality is sufficient for deployment. In the Training Results page of the selected training, you will see the option to Deploy Translator System. Click on the Deploy Translator System to submit a request to deploy a training run. An email will be sent to Microsoft with the details of the training and information required to process the deployment. Please allow several business days for the deployment request to be processed. You will receive an email confirming the availability of your translator system as soon as the deployment has taken place. After a translator system has been deployed, you can use the Test Translation page to access the translator system and use it to provide translations. To verify the quality of a translator system, go to the Test Translator link under the Community menu. Enter the test sentence into the left box and then click Translate. The translation of the source sentence or sentences will be displayed in the To box here on the right. After you have tested the deployed translator system, you can then begin sharing documents that have been translated by your translator system and solicit feedback from your community. Go to the Community pull-down menu and select Invite Reviews. Select the documents you wish to share and click the Share button. These documents will then become visible to members in both the reviewer and co-owner roles. You can also share the document with people who are not in either of these assigned roles. To allow someone who is not an assigned member to review documents, go to the Shared Document tab and select the documents that you want to have reviewed and then click on the email icon. Enter their email address or addresses and then click the Send button. Let's look at the process of reviewing documents and submitting alternate translations. A person in the role of reviewer and co-owner can log in with a live ID and then click the reviewer's dashboard under Projects. In the section titled Projects with Documents Shared for Review, click the name of the project. This will open the Review Documents page listing all of the shared documents. Click the name of the document to open the Review Document page. A person invited by email will be able to open the Review Document page directly by clicking on the link within the email. The source language will be on the left and the target will be on the right. Mouse over the translation you wish to update and then click Improve Translation. Type in your suggested changes and then click the Submit button. Now we'll jump back to the process as a project owner. Only project owners and co-owners can review and approve alternate translations provided by reviewers. As a project owner, go to Invite Reviews under the Community menu. Select the model you wish to review from the drop-down list and then click Manage Translations. You'll see each translation that has been submitted by a reviewer and then be able to take one of three courses of action. If the translation is appropriate and correct, select Approve. If the translation is not appropriate or incorrect, select Reject. If you wish to further edit the translation, select Edit. You will have to repeat this process for each sentence translation. Once you've received sufficient feedback from your reviewers, you can decide to retrain your translator system based on reviewer inputs or additional data you may have uploaded. To do this, go back to the Project Details page and start a new training. You can either use the Add Training option to start from scratch, or select a previous training run and use the Clone Training option. To download the set of suggested alternative translations submitted by the reviewers, in the Setup Training page, click Download Community Translations. This will bring up a dialog showing the count of community submitted translations. Click Download to download a zip file containing these translations. After you have reviewed the downloaded sentence files, you can upload them back to the Setup Training page using the Add Documents link. For additional information, check out our other videos in the Help section as well as the in-depth documentation on the site.